This is a quick video showing the prototype of Arena Tactics. The board is laid out in a hexadecimal grid. We have two teams, we have player one and player two. Currently player two is controlled by the AI, but it's not gonna be doing anything for this prototype version. I have a Nexus over here with full HP and I also have another unit here with also full HP. I can click on each of my units and you will see it will put a ring around them. I can then use the keyboard uh, to either move or attack for my normal units. So if I press M, it will go to the move command and I can then command it to go to a different ring. You can see that just there, it created a little cooldown bar. The cooldown for moving on a unit currently is three seconds and attacking is five seconds. At the same time, uh, I can't move uh, my tower, my nexus here. Uh, if I try and do that, it won't do anything. My tower can attack. Uh, to attack, you usually press A, but it can only attack uh, units within the boundary here. At the moment, uh, there's nothing there, so I can't attack. Uh, what I can do, however, as a uh, nexus is I can press the space bar to quickly get to it, uh, and then I can use uh, my, key, uh, my number keys on my keyboard to build units. Uh, so at the moment, there's only one unit in the game, and I will press the number one, and it will spawn it in the vicinity. Uh, you can see that it then creates a cooldown for building it. At the moment, uh, that cooldown is fixed, and uh, building a unit doesn't cost any resources, but in the future, it will do. Uh, I can then take control of these units and move them independently. At the same time, I can quickly uh, keep moving them while the other one is building. So I'm going to move these over here to this side of the map. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the gameplay will be very macro based is that you will want to be able to uh, look after all your units at the same time and watch the cooldowns, which makes it uh, very strategic in its nature. Uh, so I'm going to move them all over here and I'm going to move them towards this uh, enemy unit over here. Now at the moment, uh, the units have 50 HP uh, and currently all units and entities, even the towers, do 10 uh, HP of damage. Uh, so I'm going to move these over here. Uh, to make it easy to attack uh, and I'm going to start attacking now so I can attack that you can see the crosshair then starts there and I attack it and you can see that HP goes down uh, a slightly slower um, cooldown then starts uh, for the attack so I'm going to start attacking there uh, I don't think this unit is going to make it over by the time I've killed this unit uh, but uh, there's always the tower now that we need to attack so I'm going to move these over here we'll see what happens might as well spawn a unit in the meantime uh, okay, so I'm going to attack as soon as this becomes available. You see it slowly goes down. The tower has a lot more HP. In fact, it has 100 HP uh, at the moment in this in this prototype in comparison to the units. Uh, so I'm going to keep attacking there. And eventually, uh, I'm going to keep... Uh, just make it look like I'm doing something useful over this side of the map while I'm attacking. Uh, and there we go, the tower's destroyed. Uh, when the tower's destroyed, the game will ultimately end. Uh, but I hope you liked the look at that prototype. Uh, and we'll follow the development in the future.